There. That's it. That's him. All right, folks. This is another one of my downtown series. Like I said, right there. Across the street from the parking garage. What I'm talking about today is uh, the Cleveland kidnappings and rescues. Now, if you haven't heard what you probably have by now, it's been all over the news. Three women, or women now who were little girls, teenagers, were kidnapped by three brothers. And they were thankfully, and thank God, Allah, Yahweh, whoever you believe in, or if you don't believe anybody, just thank God for, for letting these little girls come safely back to their families. But at the same time, you have to wonder what type of sick fuckers were willing to kidnap little kids. Never mind boy or girl, there are people who still do this nowadays. Kidnap little kids. I mean, this is this is this is like a, a, a epidemic. This is really a sick and shameful. I mean, and and this is bad part by. I guess there were signs that these little girls may have been in the house, but well, man, your neighbors really didn't pay too much attention. And I heard reports that maybe uh, they were seen with chains tied in the back of the yard. I heard there was a border house. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like an hour and a half from Cleveland right now. And Clevelander, Clevelanders, let me tell you something about Clevelanders. Clevelanders are much like most of the people on the Midwest, East Coast. Uh, you know, they're manufacturing city, they're mostly mind their business type people. But I, I, I'm guessing there were signs they were saying, I don't know. But it's just it's just a shameful that we live in a society today that like these little sick fucks can walk around freely. It was up to me. Well, it was up to me. I saw another video. Hold on, here comes this. Uh, so. Yahoo. You had a volleyball. I think they leave in the day. What's the ball? All right, we live in society that uh. Rewards fuckers like these. They, you say, how do you reward these fuckers? Because all you do with these fucking people is you send them to your prisons, which they deserve to be there. But at the same time, you send them in your little uh, PC. You put them in protected custody. You won't put them in the general population because why? You know what's going to happen to you. At the end of the day, I advocate, I hate to say it, don't do it on my behalf. I advocate putting, putting, double tap them. Seriously. There's no cure for these sickos. And the double tap is the only cure. You know, it's not going to cure them. It's going to put them out of misery. So... Uh, this is my thoughts. I'm just sick and tired of these freak, ca freak cakes and weirdos doing this stuff. And I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I have a video posted before where I, I, I feel it's ten toes up for these rapists and pedos. So I'm out of here. Thank you. There. That's it. That's him.